I'm so much more than just being the Canadian human Ken doll, and I'm so ready to leave that title behind. People definitely don't take me seriously because of the Canadian human Ken doll title. I probably spent about $100,000 on plastic surgery. I've always wanted to be famous. I'm a legitimate talent. People always assume that all I care about is looks. I'm probably like very stuck up. I am mean. Being the Canadian human Ken doll made me unhappy because I was addicted to being famous. I was willing to say anything that have shock value to make people talk about me. I will not be getting any more plastic surgery to look like the human Ken doll. And I never thought I'd be sitting here saying this to people. Oh, on, on the, the camera, right? Okay, into the camera, right? Right, right into the lens, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm back! Did you miss me? I first rose to fame as Canada's human Ken doll when I got asked to do a reality TV show. I literally woke up one day and I saw myself in the headlines all over the world. Everywhere I go, I get recognized from... Oh my god, yes, yes. <laughs> Being the Canadian human can doll, I am very, very grateful for it. However, it is not what I originally really wanted to be. I was a recording artist and I act and I dance and that was what I was in pursuit of since I was a little kid. So I'm a legitimate talent, but being the Canadian can doll kind of changed that for me. That was all I've been known for and that kind of took away my, my talent and what my love. I feel like that's an era of my life that I'm ready to move on from. People always assume that all I care about is superficial things, but that's so not true at all. And I just want people to take me seriously. I do love superficial things and I love handbags and looks and makeup and all that glam stuff. So this is my handbag collection. I love handbags so, so much. Beautiful, like she is my absolute favorite right now even though I love all my girls. <laughs> I was addicted to being famous, making headlines everywhere, seeing myself on commercials on TV. We're in LA, guys. Oh my God, so this is the exact spot that I got paparazzi to. That definitely gave me a high that I've always wanted. But you know, I think at some point with alcohol and the partying made me enjoy the fame side of things and got caught up with that. It was never my intention to look like the human Ken doll. It just kind of happened. Nothing would stop me from getting to the goal of looking like a Ken doll. I would do anything to get there. When I was five years old, I got my first Ken doll. It was a Malibu Ken. That was what perfection meant to me. And I knew that I was gonna pursue that. Everybody started calling me Ken doll. I just kind of ran with it because I knew that that was giving me the fame and what I say would definitely get people talked about me and that's definitely something that I was obsessed with. I was willing to say anything that have shock value to make people talk about me and keep talking about me to stay in the public eye. I lost my true identity. I wasn't truly authentic to who I am. It's so important for me to meditate every day to keep myself in a positive and grounded and humble mindset. My last relationship, I was with Joel. And it was an abusive relationship. A lot of arguments would come from his anger. I was scared and I didn't know how to get out because I lived with him. I found out that he had a huge drug problem and he stole money from me and one night I told him that's it I said I'm, I'm calling the cops and I told him that I'm done with him six months later after we broke up I get a phone call from his friend saying that he had passed away from a car accident it was a mind game to me because there was moments that I missed him but there were also moments that I hated him Surviving a physical abuse relationship was really hard and I definitely have trust issue with guys and I didn't want to date for a long time. There's things that I need to work on with myself on the inside before I can trust a man again. Since I last appeared on Hooked on the Look, I've got my cheeks done more, my jawline done, I got my chin done, more fillers in my lips, and my regular Botox upkeep. Never in my wildest dream would think that getting plastic surgery will make me famous. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, that instant. To date, I probably spent about $100,000 on plastic surgery. 
I don't respond to negative comments. Unless they're paying my bills, I really don't give a f about what people think. At the end of the day, I know I look good, I think I look good, and that's all that matters. I spend around $1,000 to $2,000 a month on my maintenance for my look. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Oh my god, you look so gorgeous. Oh, thank you oh so my much. gosh, yes. Thank you. Today, I am getting body sculpting treatment done on my stomach. Sorry if my spray tan is coming off. Oh, it will. <laughs> We're gonna help Jonathan liquefy and melt all of his fat away. Ready? Ready, yeah. Summer body, here we come. Yes. I always knew I had a problem with alcohol. Once I start, I can't stop. And it's always been like that for the last 15 years. I no longer chase fame like I used to. Everything was about staying relevant and staying in the public eye when I was drinking. How I'm gonna make headlines? How am I gonna stay talked about Everything revolves around that. And ever since I became sober, I no longer want to chase that. I started going to meetings with my best friend, Sarah, who I love, and I work with her in the 12-step program every week. It has completely changed my life, my outlook. It, I never thought I'd be sitting here saying this to people. We are on this sober journey together. We used to do a lot of partying together. Always the last one standing. Trust me, we can party. But the problem is we don't know how to stop. This was the best thing that, that could have happened. 100%. Mm -hmm. It took that one three-day bender that we went on to like really step out of it, even mm -hmm. though that's like not our first one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, I don't know, we can laugh about it, right? Mm -hmm. Like that was not our first one, but that became our last one. It was We're, getting dark. Yeah, it was for getting us. dark. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so much guilt and so much anxiety mm -hmm. that we finally was like, like you enough know. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Jonathan's always had this party persona and this party boy image, and he's breaking it. I feel confident that that it's that this is it. This is the new Jonathan. This is how this is how it's gonna be. I'm just so happy that we're on this journey together and I cannot wait to see what our life would be in one year from now mm -hmm. and when we hit our one year of sobriety. Yeah, yes. same. I am ready to leave the entertainment industry. Bye, bye boo. Bye. See you later. Okay. It no longer serves me the happiness that it used to give me. I don't mind if people remember me as a Canadian human Ken doll. That was a really fun part of my life, but I'm definitely ready to move on 